Hey YouTube, what is good? What is going on? Welcome back to a brand new video and I hope you guys are having an awesome day as always. And in today's video guys, what I got for you is a best class setup video. You guys have been killing it on the previous two videos that I made of the best class setup and you guys really wanted to see the Weevil. So that's what we're going to be covering today is the best class setup for the Weevil. So if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe for more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content. And if you enjoyed this video, please do leave a like on it. I would appreciate it so much. And let me know what weapons you want to see a best class setup video for in the comment section below and i'll try my best to get that out as soon as possible for you guys and that is it so without further ado let's jump straight into this video so the first thing that we're going to be obviously doing is the weapon itself which is the weevil obviously because that is the name of this video obviously so that would be pretty pointless if i didn't include the weevil in this video but what we're going to be attaching to this is the rapid fire attachment that is going to be our first attachment that we're going to throw on this this is our first attachment out of three attachments may i add and the rapid fire basically it's just an awesome thing to have on the weapon because the, ma the magazine capacity on this is really large so the faster we can get all the bullets out is awesome it's just it's just essential for me in most sub machine gun classes so that for me is a great thing to have and it was basically between that and fast mags for me because I felt like fast mag, like the, the, the reload speed on this is a little bit slow, so fast mags could improve it a little bit. But I think, in all fairness, that the Weevil benefits a lot more with the rapid fire. And the second attachment we're going to be throwing on it is quick draw, and the reason for that is you know, the faster we can get our gun up and aiming down sight the better so that is why we've attached that onto this weevil class setup and the third and final attachment is the stock and the reason for this is that stock is so overpowered on submachine guns it's insane and um, i recommend it with all my submachine gun class sets uh, class setups really um, depending on obviously your style of play so this is why i've gone with it on this video and it wasn't in the dmp video so definitely put the stock on weevil in this video because like i say you know it's just better to you know drift left and right when you're aiming down sight just to dodge them bullets and make it hard for the enemy to shoot you so that is why i stuck stock on this weapon and now for the perks and these were actually chosen by a friend of mine which i personally thought you know why would you run these and then when i played with him i clearly and utterly agreed with him why we should use these and i'll tell you guys why right now so we're going to go with the first perk and that is ghost and because of this class it's just like an op rushing class setup you want to be off the radar as much as possible so obviously you know we, we're not going to put a silencer on it to reduce our weapon um, range and our damage so obviously the ghost perk is perfect for when you're running around and when the enemies get uavs it'll it'll just not detect you at all so that is a great thing to have and personally i would have thrown afterburner on because i do love the afterburner perk but my friend recommended this to me and i thought okay we'll give it a go we'll see we'll see what he's working with here so ghost for it was definitely first choice perk for this class and the second perk is a perk that i throw on every weapon class for me because you know i choose this weapon class to go into a game and, and stick with it i don't want to be switching weapons at any point during that game so that's why scavenger is essential for me you know because like i just mentioned i don't want to be halfway through a streak and then have to change my gun for someone's weapon that's on the ground because i'm my my game will just it'll probably just suffer so bad so that is why i always pick scavenger to throw on there because i can just pick up the ammo the ammo off the ground and replenish my ammunition so i always 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 recommend scavenger and for the third and final perks as you guys can see on screen the points we do have enough for two perks and what we're going to be throwing on these for these two perks is one is we're going to have a dead silence okay so dead silence is a great thing to have when you just want to just not be heard or detected by the enemies it's perfect okay because obviously if you are coming up with people who who like me myself and i know a lot of people nowadays do have this is a good headset okay i have a pair of astros um tournament ready headphones so the footsteps with these headphones i can hear perfectly and if anyone else in my lobby or on the enemy team has these headphones or any just decent headphones they will be able to hear me coming a mile off so that is why dead silence will be a great thing to do is it's just cut out that, that that sound of your footsteps so you can sneak up behind the enemies and just take them out 
and this again this is was recommended by my friend was um, a tactical mask now personally i would have probably gone for you know um, a, a different sort of perk i would have probably gone for like uh, engineer or something like that to see where the enemies you know weapon um, weapons equipment are on the, if they from like a, a trip mine down or something like that um, but he preferred the tack mask and i again i completely agree with him because I, I just sort of blocked that out of my head when I would be get, when when I get stunned by enemies from stun grenades and stuff like that because I play a lot of Chaos Mosh Pit so I'm on the town quite a bit and I, I just I just completely agree that the tap mask is another essential perk to have because the amount of times I've, I must have died from 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 this from getting stunned basically it, it was amazing to me I, you know i watched the game back in theater and i must have died a good amount of time by this one by the same person on new town throwing stun grenades and then just spraying and praying it was insane so task tack ta mask for me i can't even get my words out tack mask for me is uh, another essential perk for this class or doubt and yeah, that is really it for the class. So let's move on to the other stuff now, like the specialist. And again, it, like I say, in every single weapon class I make, this is all just my opinion, and in this case, my friend's opinion with the perks. And he, you know, he he had a, another part to play with this specialist. And you know, dude, you know who you are. You, you've asked me not to be mentioned in the video, so I hope I hope um, I'm, I'm doing a good job of covering you up. But he recommended Heatwave and. Personally, with this class setup, I would probably gone with um, you know something a bit different, like combat focus, just so I could get them points a little bit quicker. If I have you know I've earned my specialist, um, I can pop it when I feel like I, I would be able to get a few more kills and some more points, and then I could have got my kill streaks a lot quicker. But he recommended Heat Wave, and I know me throw this on most of my um, my SMG class setups as well. So it was a bit of a change for me to go with um, combat focus, but. In this case, we're going to stick with Heat Wave, but again, it's completely up to you. And for the the, the kill streaks, it's it's blatantly obvious what I'm going to pick. Uh, it's just down to you, basically, what you want on your class order out. It's entirely up to you. If you want to run a Guardian, you run a Guardian. You know, just whatever suits your playstyle and whatever game mode you're playing. But for me, I'm always going to be having Talon, Wraith, and Hater all day, every day. They just suit my style of play when I'm rushing, and it's perfect for me. So yeah, that's why I run, that's why I run them all the time in every class. But it's entirely up to you guys. You know, you guys can change this and modify this for whatever way you want. But I hope you guys do enjoy, and I do want to just give a big shout out to my friend who helped me sort of make the most of this Weaver class setup because. It is OP as hell and I feel like it did give it a big boost in making it even more overpowered than what I found it to be. Uh, I've just been trying to you know, find new weapons to play with and new different attachments to throw on weapons so big up to you dude, thank you so much for helping me out. But that is it guys, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more best class setup videos more often then please do let me know in the comment section below and also by leaving a like on the video, I would appreciate it so so much and if you're new around here please do subscribe for more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 content, you will not regret it and if you do not already have me on social media then make sure to go down to the description below and hit me up on all of my social media, I reply to everyone who contacts me so if you feel like you want to contact me or talk to me in any way make sure to go to my social media and hit me up but as i said guys that is it for this video i hope you guys have a great day and i shall see you guys in the next video